channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these at home spa DIYs so that you can have a night where you can just pamper yourself and relax, which is the perfect way to end a very long and stressful week. Everything I use to make these DIYs can be found in your kitchen, so they're very affordable because most likely if you look in your pantry, you already have most of the ingredients anyways. And the things you do need are like really cheap. So, it's really affordable and it's very good for you to have a self pamper day. So, if you guys didn't know, I'm doing one shout out for every single video that I upload. This week, I put a challenge on my Instagram and the winner of the challenge was x.heathergilbert.x. So, congratulations Heather on winning this week's shout out. If you wanna be in the running for my next shout out, you need to go click on that notification bell so you can be notified for my Monday live stream and go and follow my Instagram. I will have a link in the description below. Lastly, I wanna thank Hope Slime Shop for sponsoring this video and let's just get straight into the DIY. So the first DIY I'm making is this cooling cucumber face mask. For this DIY, you're going to need coconut or olive oil. I use coconut because it doesn't turn the sugar yellow. Sugar a cucumber, raw mint leaves, and a container to put it in. You will also need a mixing bowl and a blender. So the first thing you're going to do is use a sharp knife to cut up about half of your cucumber. If you are under 18, please get a parent's help or a parent's permission to do this. Then take one tablespoon of your crushed mint leaves and put all that into a blender and blend it until it makes a paste. I cut my cucumber into too many little slices so it made it really hard to blend. So the bigger your slices are, the easier it'll be. Now I'm taking one half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and then mix till all of the sugar is saturated in the coconut oil. You may need to add more or less depending on how dry or watery it is. And also make sure to get out any clumps at this stage. And now I am pouring my cucumber mint paste into my mixing bowl. You're only gonna wanna use about half of this because it gets really watery because of the cucumbers are like something like 95% water or something like that. So if that happens and ends up being too watery, you can put more sugar in to make it the right consistency. Then just put it in your jar and you're done. This can be stored for up to a week in the fringe. So the next DIY I'm making is this pink lemonade face scrub. This is very similar to the cucumber face scrub, but the cucumber has more cooling and tightening properties and this one's just a lot more fun. So for this DIY, you will need sugar, a jar to store it in, red or pink food coloring, pink works the best, lemon essential oil, and a mixing bowl. So I started out by putting a half a cup of sugar into my mixing bowl. Then I put two tablespoons of coconut oil into the mixing bowl and I mixed it with the sugar, but then it ended up being really dry, so I put some more coconut oil in there. And now I'm mixing my red food coloring. Halfway through mixing this, I remembered that I had pink, which works a lot better for a pink lemonade face scrub. So I went upstairs, got the pink food coloring, and it ended up being this hot pink color, which is fine, but as it dries, it turns a lighter color, so keep that in mind while you're putting in your food coloring. And then the next thing you're going to do is put in your essential oil. You're only supposed to put about three drops in there, but I put like six to seven because I really like the smell of lemon. And then you mix it all together and that's it. And now you have an exfoliating face scrub. Use this every other night so that you don't overwork your face, but it's still keeps you nice and exfoliated. So the next thing you're making is this caffeinated under eye mask. This is really good because it's refreshing and it wakes you up, but it also helps to brighten dark circles. So what you're going to need are coffee grounds, black pepper, coconut oil, and some water. So I started with a half a tablespoon of coffee. I ended up needing a lot more than this, but it's a good place to start. Then take a handful of your black peppercorn and then just pour in a tablespoon of coconut oil. Lastly, put in a little bit of water and then mix it all together. Depending on the consistency, you're gonna need to add more coffee or more water, just depending on how it is and how you want it to be. But when you put it on, you are gonna to wanna to mix a little bit of water in because it is a paste, so it won't go on as a mask if it's too dry. So the last DIY I'm making is this avocado brightening mask. It brightens and tightens your skin, so it's just a really nice mask to make. So what you're going to need is a blender, a banana, an avocado, and an egg. You're also going to need a bowl to mix it in. Mine was a little small, so make sure you have a bigger one or it will start to overflow. So, you're gonna start out by peeling your banana and you are going to cut about half your banana. You can use the full banana and it will make the 
face mask much smoother and more solid, but my jar was too small and it wouldn't fit, so I had to use only half. Next, you're gonna cut open the avocado. I only learned like a, about two weeks ago the correct way to, to cut open an avocado, so here that is. So you're just gonna put in half of an avocado, and then you're just gonna put in the one whole egg. So you're just gonna crack that and put it on top. Then you're gonna put it straight into the blender and then blend until it's all mixed together smoothly. And once you're done with that, you're just gonna pour it. I poured it back into my mixing bowl so I could get it cleaner into my jar. And then you're just gonna pour that straight into your jar. And that's it, it's super easy to make and it's really good for your skin. So these all can last for up to a week if they're in the fridge. For those of you that are still here, you get a bonus DIY. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a DIY headband out of a t-shirt that I just bought at Walmart. So you're just gonna cut off three strips from the bottom of the headband. This is really simple. Just make sure that you get both sides so you, it's not to cut it too early. And then you can put the rest of the t-shirt away. You won't need it. And now you have a really cute crop top. So now you're gonna lay out your three strands and then you're gonna cut one end. Make sure to only cut one end or then the headband will be too short. So now you're gonna lay them all out and then either use tape or get a friend to hold them together so you can do the next step. And now you're just going to do a simple braid. So you're gonna take the band on the left side and move it to the middle. Then take the one on the right side and then do the same thing. And then just repeat this over and over. This is a very basic three strand braid. You're just gonna repeat it throughout the entire headband. Be careful because if you braid them too quickly, then the extra uh, strips at the bottom will get tangled and that makes it really hard. So then just lay it over your head to size it. And then I thought of this afterwards, you can turn it to the front and tie it that way or you can get a friend to help you. So, because it was really hard for me to do this by myself on the back side. You're just gonna take it off and then tie it one more time just to make sure it's tight so that when you do the next step and you cut it, it doesn't come undone. So just make sure that the knot's really tight and then now you have a super cute headband to keep your hair back while you're using all of the DIYs we just made. So when I went to use this, I lit some candles and I just gave it that spa-like atmosphere so it was very relaxing and then I could just take care of my skin and use all of the mask and scrub we just made and it was just really, really relaxing. Also, all of these DIYs are completely edible so just keep that in mind in case you wanna do a taste test like I did. I'm gonna do for my close up. I didn't know you were in Wicked. I am Shrek. <laughs> Avocado Shrek. Get out my school. <laughs> what was that? It spilled on me. Yeah, it spilled all over your face. <laughs> I'm Gooigi. For the avocado mask, I let it sit on my face for 10 minutes and then I just washed it off with lukewarm water and a towel. How's it feel? Like a sugar scrub? <laughs> because I was filming this at night, I didn't need the caffeine boost from the coffee mask, but I used it because I have very dark circles and it really helps to brighten them. And even after just using it this one time, I can see such a difference already. So everything oh. I made today is completely edible. This one is avocado, banana, and egg. I'm gonna take a little bit of it because it's a raw egg, but I mean, it's still edible. So we're gonna see. It's just like sweet guacamole. How many out of five? How many stars out of five? Mm, three. Three stars out of five? Yeah. Three out of five stars. This is made out of coffee, coffee grounds, black pepper, coconut oil, and water. So this is You not also currently have it on your face. I also currently have it on my face. This is not gonna be fun, I can tell you that now. Me. Do it. So what's that? Three out of five? <laughs> negative two. Negative two out of five? You can't see. give it a negative yes, two. Yes, I can! I hate, is it a zero? I hate coffee! Is it a zero or a one? Negative seven. <sighs> negative seven out of five. This is cucumber, mint, sugar, and coconut oil. But I hate cucumber, so I'm not expecting this to be fun either. Crunchy. Not bad. It has cucumber aftertaste, but the sugar takes most of the flavor, so it's not that bad. Well, okay, how many out of five? Three and a half. Three and a half, ooh, 3.5. I would give it a four if it wasn't for the cucumber. And this is the final one. This is pink lemonade. It's sugar, coconut oil, essential, lemon essential oil, and food coloring. So, this one's probably gonna be delicious. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. 
<laughs> How many out of five? Six. It tastes, Six it, out of five. It tastes like sugar with a little bit of lemon. Gotcha. So we have three out of five. Negative seven out of five, yeah. 3.5 out of five, and six out of five. Woo, I'm doing good. I'm really good at math. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button down below and click the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, go and follow my Instagram. The link is down in the description below so that you can know whenever I'm doing my shout out challenges. So go ahead and do that so that you can be in the running to get a shout out for next Wednesday's video. My skin feels like so soft and smooth and amazing. And everything that I made is completely edible. I just don't recommend eating a couple of them because they're disgusting. But yeah, you can eat them if you want to. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.